Hi there everyone. In the last video I showed you how to do a software update to version 6.2 for the G5. This video I'm going to show you, now that I have everything connected, the, the benefits and the features of the, the G5. So I'll take you through that right now. You can see on the G5 now, um, I have two bearing pointers, a VOR and a GPS. So I'll take you into setup. And you can see bearing pointer one is a VOR localizer and bearing pointer two is my GPS. Then a new feature is on the HSI, you can hit from normal to expanded. And I'll actually make the G5, the HSI, bigger on the display. Now I like the smaller display just because I get more on it. So I'm going to go back, go back to normal. Now what, what's cool about the uh, this this function is you can see I got my heading right now my source says GPS so I'll actually go back into the SL30 and let's just say the nearest and let's just go Olivia correct so now it, it paints the line right on right on the G5 here so you can see that so I can go into setup now. I can select source, so I can go source, and I say, you know what, I want to fly off of my SL30 right now. I'm in Wilmer's VOR at 113.7, and here's what's cool about the SL30, is I can hit two from. So I'm 2037, and from the VOR, I'm at a radial of 217, but I like to say 2037. So I can come back to my G5, VOR has that bearing pointer, you can see it right there, 037. And what's cool is I can come in here now, and I can select my course and say, okay, 037, and I'll be right on course. So what's nice is I have this flip-flop function now. So at least I can come into source and say, out of the source, I want to go back to my GPS, it gives me that option. Now I did not do the update so I can actually see the uh, the true airspeed or the, the wind, the wind correction up here that the G5, the software update, gives you. I do not have the outside air temp, the, what is it, the, the 13, the G, the GMAU or whatever it is the, that you needed to select. So. I do not have those two functions, but uh, I'm really happy now that I can actually go into here and go between GPS and a VOR, and I still have the bearing pointers under setup to play with as well, and uh, very happy with that. think it's uh, really cool. So if you have any questions, um, well, maybe I can show you one more thing here. Let's go back. So I'm on the VOR, as you can see that right now. If I shoot over to... The localizer, which is for Wilmer. Maybe show it. Yeah, let's just go Wilmer, waypoint, airport, over frequencies, localizer is what? 1095. So 1095. I can flip that in. And now you can see I'm on the localizer. So the localizer pulls up and it says on glide slope even though I'm, I'm not actually flying at the moment but it'll give me the localizer and vice versa if I go back to the SL30 and I put in the VOR it gives me the VOR and you obviously know that it'll give me a, a localizer it'll give me an RNAV and it uh, will give me a, it'll give me three different glide slopes which is really cool as well so hope you guys take something out of this video and appreciate you following along with me thanks bye